How about some brownies, y'all? These are called Layers of Love. Let's make them. Now, y'all, these brownies uh, have a number of ingredients. So make sure y'all click more below the video in the description box so you can get the recipe. I'm okay. In the smaller bowl, we have three quarter cup of flour, three quarter cup of baking cocoa, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna give this a good whisk and we're gonna set it aside. And you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 and you'll need an eight by eight greased or buttered bake dish. Okay, that looks, I think that looks all right. All right, I'm gonna push this out of the way. Now then, in the bigger bowl, half cup of packed brown sugar, half cup of granulated sugar, and one stick of butter. And we're going to beat this with the beater. Until it's creamy. We'll make y'all watch this. I'll be right back. Make sure you beat your sugars and your butter until it's creamy looking. And then now remember we needed three eggs. We're going to take two of these eggs and we're going to do them one at the time. We're going to beat this first one in completely. Now we're going to add a second one. Now then we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla, two whole teaspoons. empty. Thankfully, I opened my other one right before this because I had a feeling. One. Now then, we're going to take our flour, baking powder, and salt mixture, and we're going to beat this in a little bit at the time until we get it all incorporated. All right, we got our first bit mixed in. We're going to add a little more. No, might as well just go ahead and add it all. Now we're going to get this mixed in. I'm so excited for this. Okay. Now, I'll finish getting this mixed up. I'll be right back. Here's our semi-sweet chocolate morsels. And this is our three-quarter cup of the baking white morsels. Now then we also need a half a cup of this caramel sauce. I'm going to attempt to pour it in here. Yeah, that's what we want. We want the thick stuff. That looks like, yeah, that's a half a cup. Okay. Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. So, remember, you have one egg here. We're going to take most of our batter, 
and we're going to spread it into our bake dish. I hope y'all can see this. But we're going to reserve three quarters of a cup of this batter. I'd say, we're going to say that is three quarters of a cup. Okay. We're going to spread this out as best we can. Now then, we're going to take our cup of crushed pecans and we're going to sprinkle them in. Make sure they spread out fairly well. Okay, and we're going to take our white morsels, and we're going to spread these all over. And we're three quarter, well, quarter, a uh, full cup of crushed pecans, but three quarter cup of these white morsels and three quarter cup of semi-sweet chocolate morsels. That looks good. Now then, we're going to drizzle our caramel. All over. Oh, I can't wait, y'all. All right. So that's good enough. That's most of it. Now, we're going to move this aside for just a minute. Now then, we're bringing our batter back over. And we're going to beat our final egg in here. Now then, we're going to dump our semi-sweet chocolate chips into this last cup of batter that we just mixed that last egg and egg into. We'll fold these in. Like I said, y'all, a few moving parts to this, but oh gosh, it looks and smells so good. Now then, I'm going to bring our brownies back over here, and we're going to pour, actually we're going to dollop, we're going to dollop this last batter with the chips in it, chocolate chips. Over the top. Make 
we'll take our little spatula here and spread it out as best we can. Looks good to me, y'all. Mm, I'm excited. Yes. Okay. In the oven she goes. See y'all in 30 to 35. Make sure y'all can see what this looks like. Beautiful. Beautiful. 30 to 35 minutes. Here we go, y'all. Look, I can't get over how much they rose up. Uh, you see it's still bubbling over here in the corner. That looks like it's probably the caramel. I had to guess, but... Anyway, it says we have to let these cool all the way off, leaving them in the bake dish on a wire rack. I don't know how long this is going to take, but hopefully not too long because all I can smell all over my house is brownie and I really want one now. So I'm going to try to behave and leave these alone and uh, I'll be back and we'll cut into these beauties. Let's taste one. see the layers I'm not exactly good at cutting brownies I just cut them the recipe is supposed to make 16 brownies I guess if you cut them right you'll get 16 <laughs> I have some big ones some little ones mm. 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 that's delicious you see that caramel in there mmm very worth the wait if you bake these i recommend you bake these the night before you need them or bake them in the morning if you're going to need them for like supper they really do need to cool all the way off before you attempt to cut them because all that molten lava caramel is just going to pour out if you cut them too soon so heed the warning and don't do what i did anyway layers of love brownies highly recommend these are delicious